if I were you, you already had your chance. I could have done the same back at your school. I'd say we're even. Let's both just turn around and walk away. Shoot her, Clem. She stabbed James in the back. Don't waste your arrows. This is over. Thanks. I'll need the ammo. Without reinforcements, my people will lose their war. They'll die because of you. The Delta was the first place I called home after years of wandering. After this, there won't be anything left to go back to. Good! You deserve to be alone. Maybe. To be honest, it's easier by yourself. Nothing lasts, Clementine. Not friends, not love, not the place you call home. They'll all fall eventually. Never forget that, or they'll drag you down too. If I see you again, I'll kill you. Sorry about your tongue, but at least you're still alive. You have no idea how happy I am to see you right now. Get the fuck off of me! Are you okay? Yeah. My ass is a little singed, but I'm good. Fuck. I can't believe that works. Lou. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. God, you guys made it. Fuck. There's more walkers than I can count. The explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. Herself killed. Oh 
my god! We got a break for it now. Everyone, run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. I'll be right behind you. The second I see an opening, I'll make a break for it. I'll see you on the other side. Damn right. AJ, go with them. No, I'm staying with you. Thanks, kiddo. squeeze through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But... Move it, dummy! <sighs> We're safe, but not for long. It's so dark in here. This sucks. I'll figure something out. Hmm. Perfect. Flint. I need something to burn. Something to hold it up. Okay. All right. Hey, good. Look, there's another tunnel over there. It's too far. Well, we just gotta. We gotta find something to help us cross. Clear. The walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know. Not sure where it goes, but it's our only option. Hmm, rocks are too small to walk across. But they might stop something flowing downriver. 
I yanked that out of there, it would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. Okay, we just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? AJ, still with me? AJ, please. We have to keep moving. There's... there's nothing after this. What? James isn't in there. He looked right at me, and... and his eyes were empty. There's nothing after we die. AJ, I know he was your friend, and I know this is terrible. Please don't say you're sorry. Okay. Everything is just, just wrong! Like something spilled on the floor and you just can't get it back! James's death is not on you. I made the call, and Lily is the one who stabbed him. And me. It's on me, too. I... Quiet! James shouldn't have been there, AJ. None of this was supposed to happen. What? I, I can't hold all of that in my head! It's okay to be confused. You say don't be soft. But everything that you do just messes up my head. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. <sighs> AJ. When we were talking with Abel, you stabbed him and stopped him from becoming a monster. 
You made killing look so easy. You, you killed that guy when we were sneaking on the boat. You didn't have to, but you did. What made him different from Lily? AJ, please, that's enough. I'm sorry. I'm just scared something will take you away. Aren't you scared of that too? Having to leave the world behind? And me? Listen, kiddo. Everyone is scared of dying. Of what happens after. Especially if it's nothing. I don't want people I care about to leave, Clem. I have to kill anyone that tries to take them away. I do. You told me I was right to kill Marlon. But I think you were confused. By what? It was murder. And I was still right. I don't think that murder means the same thing as it did when you were little. In a world that's gone now. I think that murder now is just... protecting the people around you. Murder is a thing that makes us safe. Enough, AJ. Murder is murder, nothing else. A human life is precious. No, food is precious. Bullets are precious. We need those to live. But we don't need bad people who make things wrong. You're too young to understand. You're just a child. So are you. I know you want to be big for everyone, but you're just a kid. Like me. Sometimes you're scared, just like any other kid. So I'll help. You said I just might meet a firefighter one day. Until I do, I'm just gonna be one. Even if I don't get it just right, I am. Because all it means is killing bad people who hurt other people. And I'm good at that. Like, I think I could be the best at killing bad people. Better than you, even. Because I wouldn't hesitate. AJ, that's not the future I want for you. I love you too much. And I see you slipping away. Getting more violent, more angry, more lost. You shouldn't be afraid of that. I won't let it happen. I need you to trust me, Clem that I can tell the good people and the bad people apart. That I know when to use my gun. And that you'll let me decide for my own. Okay. Really? Firefighters have to make the hard calls, which means they deserve our trust. And if they kill to protect others, they're never happy about it. Killing people doesn't make me happy, Clem. Yeah, that's the way out. Come on. Coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. A 
Sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon. You already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason... It was better. I just, I just thought you should know. A sim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. That's really nice of you to say, Ten. Thank you. That's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just... hiding. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be gone for good. Oh. Shit. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. Because you were afraid of losing someone else. It's understandable. I was a goddamn coward. I'm not a coward anymore. Jesus. Everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlon said, how it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? treehouse in the backyard. 
I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain, or it was an igloo and I was a hunter, <laughs> or a castle and I was a princess. Really? Like with frilly dresses and a tiara? Yeah, but also a sword. A warrior princess. Yeah, obviously. And the treehouse kept me alive when all this started. That's where I hid. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. <sighs> It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. Hell, we could even put in a treehouse. We've already got a bell tower. Okay, we'll build a bell tower house. Perfect. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. Something that makes assholes go, I should stay away. But not like Blood Murder Knife House. You name it. It was your idea. Texas. We're calling it Texas. You can't just name it Texas. Fine. Texas too. I want to help rebuild our school. You will, Ten. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. Let's get home to Texas, too. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. That's far. Really far. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. going someplace better. I want you there with me. Where everyone gets to be a, a person again? We're gonna go be with Mom 
And Dad. And Sophie. Together. Ten, look at me. I know that looks like her, but your sister is gone. I'm... Don't you fucking speak to him! Any of you! Do this! Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. The night will be over soon. You'd be dead if he hadn't taken that shot. You think that's okay? Just gunning down one of our own. I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so I did. Goodbye, Tom. <laughs> Trap us. I know. I'll 
climb first, and I'll catch you on the way down. Come on! Bye! Shit! I got it! Clem, look out! bit. We can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Keep moving forward. Thinking about it, AJ. There's nothing we can do. There's gotta be something. We have to focus on getting back. Keep 
moving forward. Look! James's barn! It's empty now. We'll be safe in there.
job, AJ. You did it. Now what? You need to find a way out of here. We could climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please, try. <laughs> You can't give up. You can't give up. I need you. I need you. You don't need me. Not anymore. Look what you did. All by yourself. Junior, you'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. Hey, Jay, please. You're such a cutie. How did I get so lucky? Silly right now. Not right now. Please. I just wanted to see you smile. One last time. Don't say that. Please. Don't say that. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never go alone. So, so I can't leave. Not without you. AJ. It's your rule. You won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... <laughs> There's a fresh, juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. That axe. You know what to do with it. Monsters come. Clem. AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay then. Fuck. And the last rule. I, I want to stay. With you. I know what'll happen. And, and I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. Even if someone kills us later, we'll just sit for a really long time. Stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Love. 
last rule. No. What do we do if I get bit? <laughs> Are you gonna make me say it? <laughs> Just leave. I can't let you turn into a monster. You have to. I'm coming. Three years old. His name's Alvin Jr.
sorry. D don't worry. We're leaving soon. Go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay. We're survivors. And the first rule of survival is... Never go alone. Never G go alone. Clem? <laughs> yeah, that's right. AJ? I'm so sorry for everything. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home, together. And I'll never leave you again.
Gotcha. I wish you knew how to talk. Fishing's kind of lonely. <laughs> boom, boom. There we go. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Stay here and keep watch. No! No, no! Yes! Good girl! Just, just keep looking at whatever you're looking at. Please don't turn around. I don't want to see you like, like that. I hear you, girl. I hear you. Goodbye, Tin. Hey, hun. It's getting late. Just coming to check on you. Dinner soon. Okay. I'm all done anyway. That's a good scratching spot. <clears throat> I think it is. Oh, wow. You found her hat. It found me. Okay, hon. Um, I'm gonna go check on a sim over at the rabbit traps. Let's go home. Let's go home.
What you doing there, goofball? Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And, and you have wood arm legs. Crutches. Crutches. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's all wet now. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? It's... is for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. <laughs> this is fun. I love today. Me too. It's good to see you smile. You're the best, Clem. It's gonna get cold! Come on, let's go eat. We're coming! Yeah, that's the spot. A sim says he saw 10, 15 of them, a little bit past the old safe zone. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. 
maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? How about you back me up, and we'll find that out together. Word on the street is you're a good running buddy. Best. Uh, aren't you still mad I killed Tim? The thing you said on the bridge. That he was messing up all the time. It wasn't something new, you know. Ten got himself or other people into trouble all the time, long before you guys got here. He was always so lost. He lived in a world that just isn't there, you know? And that's why I tried to look after him. But when I was pulling him away from the walkers and Minnie, I could also see he just wasn't there anymore. So you're mad, but sad. Can I be that for a while? Yeah, it's okay. Don't sleep in. <sighs> you okay? Just... just getting tired. Hey, walk with me a sec. Gotcha. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. You made it so we don't have to run, Clem. We're safe now. Yeah, I guess we are. All this, it's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home, all I could ever tell you was, we'll see, and your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan, I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? Of course you did. What are you, are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I was right to trust you, back in the cave. To make the hard calls, even when I couldn't. You'll have to be strong for the both of us. You made it so I can. So, thank you. For everything. You're welcome for everything.
I'm coming. 